but you might have seen these triangular kaleidoscopes where you see patterns which are flat and two-dimensional but this is absolutely a magical kaleidoscope it's like a cubicle box and there are three pairs of mirrors and we know if there are two battery mirrors you see in finite reflections and images so this is like entering into a magical world of images And all you need is six square pieces of acrylic glass. This is a reflecting glass and can be safely cut by a scissor. Now take six square pieces of this glass, six inch by six inch. If you take smaller, your cube will be a little smaller. Cut a small corner in each of the glass and lay them like a cross as shown. The cut corners of the square should be in the same position as shown. With the mirrors facing downwards, tape the edges of the square. Tape the joint sides as shown. Stick the colored beads on the center of reflecting side of each of the six squares. When you arrange two mirrors at 90 degree, you can see three images. But when you have parallel mirrors as in this cube, we get infinite images. This combination leads to a fascinating world of images inside this 3D kaleidoscope, which is now ready. Now fold to make a cube and tape all the edges. If you have arranged the squares correctly, your cube will have two diagonally opposite open corners. One is for you to look at the images and the other one, guess, to allow the light in. Kaleidoscope is ready. You are now free to enter the amazing room full of infinite patterns and reflections. You can change the position of the beads to off-center and then observe the change in patterns. So enjoy this amazing 3D kaleidoscope. I hope you enjoyed the 3D kaleidoscope and its magical room of infinite reflections. And now it's time to think. So we had six pieces of acrylic which we folded into a cube and we had arranged the six pieces like this. Are there any other ways in which we can arrange the six pieces so that they still fold into a cube? For instance, if we had arranged the pieces like this, we would still fold a cube. What are all those ways in which we can arrange the six pieces so that they fold into a cube? These are called hexomenes. Thank you.